Hey folks, Joseph A. Sabora here, and I'm doing a new movie review this week. It's called Life of Pi. It's based on a novel by Jane Mattel, and it's directed by Ann Lee, who did Quadrant Tiger Hidden Dragon, Brokeback Mountain, and The Ice Storm. It stars Sheree Sharma, Ifan Khan, Adele Hussein, Taboo, Rafe Spall, and Gerald Debadu. The movie begins in Canada when a writer visits an Indian storyteller by the name of Pai Patel and decided to ask him to tell his side of the story about how he, he experienced his childhood days living in Pondicherry, India and how he got his origins of his nickname which eventually the name Pi is the name of the square root of all of mathematics. Since then he's been learning a lot of mathematics uh, throughout the, the entire school. That is until one day his father who happens to be a zoo owner of a local zoo in India he just found out that the zoo is no longer located now so they decided to to move all the animals and everybody to to a new zoo in Canada. So the next day they went on board on a Japanese cargo ship where they held all the animals and everybody and decided to, sh to move all the way from from India to Canada but unfortunately a, a huge storm started to shoot up on their path and causes a tidal wave to become shipwreck between him and his family. Unfortunately Pi was the only one that survived by going onto a lifeboat with a few animals in there. And one of the animals turned out to be an orangutan, a hyena, a zebra, and a male ferocious tiger by the name of Richard Parker. But since then they've been shipwrecked together through the Pacific Ocean. Since then Richard Parker was getting very hungry as it follows. And we see a lot of things going around once they were shipwrecked all together and they were struggling to survive from this event. For, from a film that's based on the book and, and it was a best-selling novel too, this is a very well-made film that I never thought I would see between my own eyes because it was stunningly beautiful from what I saw because of all the because the way the film looks as it turned out now I knew all the animals in the film, while most of it did seem very real, all the other animals, I would say like half of it is realistic, but the rest of it is basically CGI because of all the movements they've been doing. I, I could tell you an animal would never move like that when it comes to a, a movie like Life of Pi. But yeah, I understand, you know, they, they wanted to make a film that has visual effects, that sort of has that feel. Of, of what movies really wanted to look like. I like the fact that they capture all these wonderful scenes that they put in into the movie including one of these underwater shots of all these fishes, whales shooting up all the way. It's very magical and also very uh, stunning to see all the techniques they put into this film. All this light blue and, and vivid colors all the way around especially from the sky and all these beautiful animals that you often see and, and fishes, the whales, everything. It's just amazing. I gotta say one of my favorite scenes in this movie had to be the flying fish that's been shooting up all around. I know some of the aspect ratios that changed uh, through those scenes because um, I noticed that they were getting a, uh, a those two black bars, of course, the the aspect ratio of widescreen, and all all this has been shoot up all the way. I think this this was trying to give it a IMAX feel to it, sort of like that, or or at this rate a 3D look, because I know there were some 3D shots in this movie, and it does become very spiritual at times because yes, Pi had to convert almost every, you know, to religion sources. I could deal with it. But of course, it is depressing as well. There was a lot of sad moments in this film, but not that many. But I knew how he was been going through, 
as he was in the boat the whole time with the tiger and he's finally safe it's a beautiful film I'm, I'm glad Ann Lee you know took his his guts to direct this movie along with all the team effort he has done with, with everybody behind the cinematography the special effects everything that they have done for this movie and I give all credit to them in fact I'm glad to see that uh, the cinematographer won for, for this movie and th this has to be one of his best works that I've seen so far which is close enough but it's almost right there with some of his earlier stuff but I, I really did enjoy it it's definitely worth watching it is depressing at times but deep down of it it gets to you I love this movie so I give Life of Pi four stars I'm Joseph A. Sabora and I'll see you later. Bye.